sweaty. I might look a little bit sweaty because it is so hot in my room, which is weird because I've never had that issue before. As you can see, guys, I still haven't bought a new mic cover. Um, so really, I'm just using this on the back side to block some of the white noise. But we have another fragrance video. I'm in a lot. I'm in a heck of a lot. A heck of a better mood than I was when I recorded that last video. We all know why. It's it's the it's the curse of making videos for anything. The curse of recording didn't work. And in this case, I was like, you know what? I was on my grind. I was on my my every other day grind. Which, by the way, I know I like. I'm glad people are kind of like telling me to focus on myself. But like genuinely, I enjoy doing this. It's a nice way to kind of like collect myself, my thoughts. It's kind of like journaling. Um, because recently, uh, let's be real, I've just been thinking about fragrances in school. In school, I'm already taking notes and shit. So it's a nice way to kind of document my fragrance journey and share that with you guys. So I'm definitely not like overwhelmed. I also have spring break. Uh, really, it started now. I've got some online work to do. But next week, I'm hoping to um, do a little more things content wise, not only on this channel, maybe a different channel. Um, and by the way, I, I, I literally, look, I like, but my, my IRL channel, um, because I got the GoPro and I wanted to make like a motorcycle vlog type video, but I literally have not, and I have a good excuse for this, I have not been able to do so because I bought this, the medium bought this shit, don't even get me started on, on the cost. And so I bought this set of ND filters, which is basically just to make sure the sun isn't glaring in your face. And look at this. This is with the medium mod. This needs to go over there. But as you can see, there's a little shit there. So this is how it sits. When it records, it blocks that. So I'm either going to need to buy new ones or cut off that little piece. And I'm hoping that it just sits like flush on there. I'm probably going to cut it off because I don't feel uh, like returning this. I already returned um, one thing because it didn't work out. And I just want to I just want to get a video out on there. Um, so, yeah, next week, I'll be going to start up some more content. Because um, really, I am just like, I just have nothing going on in my life that is interest. Like, I'm just not like, I have no obligations right now. So why not? Yap session over fragrance video starts now this video i actually really wanted to make this video i've got a number of fragrances here and as you can um tell by the title we're talking about prices and what you can get for what price range what the quality is siage longevity all of this so i've worn these all a couple of times some of them a lot more than a couple of times and we're gonna we're gonna start off within the 10 to 20 dollar range now for those hispanic fellas which i know there are some of you when you're shopping with your mom usually in a tj maxx ross or burlington let's be real you're there for a while and for me personally when i was growing up i would always like i would always go to the the cologne and the perfume section but i would never buy anything because i was a broke little boy but now that i have uh I don't have a job, but I do have some some grown up money that I can spend. I I, I occasionally splurge the ten to however much it costs in one of those. And as you guys saw in one of those videos, I uh, bought this ten dollar cologne from Burlington. Ten bucks, okay. Now ten dollars is gonna smell like ten dollars. This is called whiskey and cedarwood, and really just smells like it. It doesn't smell all that interesting in terms of cologne. It smells like cedarwood definitely whiskey i don't know about that but um it is like longevity wise they don't last that long doesn't project it is a ten dollar cologne at its peak now was i expecting anything absolutely not should i have bought it probably not as well um but you know what sometimes you gotta do it just to do it live and learn live laugh love Live, laugh, learn, learn, adapt, extract, something like that. So that's
that's this guy, Whiskey and Cedarwood. Don't buy it. It's not worth your money. Save up. <laughs> but I own it. What will I do with this? I don't know. Maybe I'll like use it as an air freshener or some shit. We'll see. I definitely need, I need to make sure the the liquid doesn't stain though because some really low quality liquids uh, alcohols will stain clothes or something else. Which let's hope that doesn't happen. Next up, we're getting into actual fragrances now. This one is called right here Shagaf Oud Aswad by Swiss Arabian. Now, you're probably wondering why this is in like the cheapest category. Um, for me, I purchased a three pack for around 40 bucks that came with this. I think it was just Shagaf Oud and then Shagaf like for men. And so, doing your doing your multiple your division, your multiplication and division. 40 divided by 3, you're getting around 13 bucks per fragrance. So, this for $13 is a surprise. Like, is it a banger? I don't think so. Is it a solid fragrance? Absolutely. Now, with this, you are getting oud and rose and woodsy notes. Like, immediately, it's like your typical kind of Middle Eastern type um, oud. Not the most, like, quality smelling. But it definitely smells nice and a little bit more for older guys, probably. Um, would I recommend buying this? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't wore it out that often. But um, occasionally I will spray it. And I'll have to, like, test the dry down a little bit more. But it's really just Oud and Rose, which is, like, a huge, like, very popular um, combo. So if you're looking for an easy entry point into that kind of realm of fragrances you can definitely try this um test it out before you buy it i'm not sure if people really do um testings of like cheapies like this but yeah so that is swiss arabian shagaf oud azwad also i want to pick up oud or was it just called az azraq a-z-r-a-q um hopefully soon sometime Next up, this one right here. Now, this is called Intimately Beckham by the Mr. David Beckham of football fame. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo, David Beckham, I'm sure there are some other ones. Um, I don't think Messi has one. Um, they have dabbled in perfume, uh, perfumery. Well, they haven't, but like their teams, their media teams, their um, marketing, whatever, have. And this one right here, I'm going to put it to you straight. I wear this to go to the gym, or to go play ball, or to go on a run. It is nothing fancy. It is a nice smell, but it's nothing that I would wear in a professional setting, school, business. It's just kind of like a, really, it's just my exercise or active fragrance, you know? It is, like, pretty fresh, but it's a little bit of a darker fresh as opposed to, like, the super citrusy, that type of fresh. So not much to say about this this is i think you can pick this up for like less than 20 bucks i'm pretty sure i definitely did uh a year ago or whenever i bought it and like i said nice gym fragrance go on a run footy i'm gonna plant some footy which unfortunately i don't do as much i need to get out more hopefully this coming spring um do some pickup games basketball any of those things if you want a cheap fragrance but you want to smell good while you're playing you would definitely give this one a shot all right so that concludes our our cheapy category i haven't done more and realistically i will by the way i i saw it updated fragrance collection coming soon i'm just determining if i want to wait until i have a landmark number like a hundred you know what i'm saying 100 fragrances that would make for kind of a crazy video and I can clickbait the title. If we're close enough, though, I'm going to clickbait regardless. Um, but having that 100 plus bottles is kind of a nice touch, if you know what I mean. So let me let me pick up some of the other GP fragrances, some of the clones. Um, some of the clone houses have some stuff that I want. And let me just somehow manipulate the numbers. You know, they may be tester bottles, they may be travel size then maybe baby little three sprints as long as i can get that number to technically around 100 i'm gonna drop that video but i also gotta i gotta build up hype for it you know what i'm saying because that could be huge potential okay anyways we're going
going into the $30 range for the most part. I pick these up for $30 to $40. And uh, first off, because you saw it in the last video, and let me tell you something, it's only been a couple of days. But goddamn, Rasasi. Right, Rasasi. Um, Ebba. Kasamat Ebar. Yeah. This right here. You heard me talk about it. The apple, the caramel apple deliciousness. It is absolutely sweetness fantastic. And now I'm in a better mood. I feel better about it too. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you spray this on, man. You just want to like eat your hand you know if you spray your hand you're like damn that smells mad delicious and then like because right now recently i've been doing a lot of fasted workouts if i ever like smell this i'm like oh my god i get a little a little rumbling stay humble get rumbled i get a little rumble in my in my stomach but i gotta resist and obviously i'm not gonna drink i'm not gonna eat this like flavored this alcohol shiz you know what i'm saying because i'll probably die it is what it is but for 30 bucks you are getting a nice fragrance now this has lasted i mean it was on there for a while uh i i get a, a kind of lost in the time when i'm going to the gym and doing schoolwork and stuff but i did spray this on one morning and it was with me all the way until lunch um before I kind of stopped keeping track, so maybe around uh, four hours is when it became less noticeable, or I became scent deaf. But you know what I'm saying? If you don't know what that means, oh, new video idea, guys. I'm insane. I'm a genius. Um. Anyways, I may become scent deaf to it. I don't think it was completely gone, but I became really just busy and I wasn't really looking for it. So that is. Ebar Kasamat Rasasi, made in Dubai, currently in my house, and I'm glad it is in my collection. Next up, it was gonna it was gonna show up. I'll never stop glazing this fragrance because it is a clone of one of my favorites. It is the fabled Detour Noir Latent Clone. By the way, look at that. It's crazy, guys. The bottle is absolutely disgusting. Do not expect anything from that bottle. But, oh my god, you are getting spices, and it is fantastic for around 30 bucks. 31, 32, 33, maybe. Maybe. You are getting a killer scent. It's a, yes, it's a clone, but this does not shy. Like, it is not afraid to be... It's long-lasting. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It is long-lasting. It projects well, and it is damn close. It is damn close to latent. If you are a fragrance noob, which I keep using that term, which doesn't really mean anything, but basically, if you are unfamiliar with how um, different quality fragrances smell, you would smell this, and you'd be like, that is insane. That smells so good. And you'd, be, you'd hear it's a clone, and you'd be like... I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Part of my language. But because I own Layton and this, I can tell Layton is a little, is it? it's executed a little nicer. It's a little smoother. It is less, I mean, I don't get any synthetic smells off of this, to be honest with you. No, no synthetic. It is really a damn good clone. And guys, if you want Layton, your bank try this one out is this the best clone this is the only clone i've tried i w i know there's like a amber oud like blue edition that is supposed to be a clone should i pick that up i don't know maybe will i make a video on it i can make a video on it actually whoa 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 detour noir for 30 bucks you're getting a fragrance that smells around Layton is over like 200 but you're getting definitely over 100 bucks worth of sniffs, you know what I'm saying? If somebody smelled this, they would not think it cost $30, in my opinion, humbly. Yours truly. Alright, so that, that was 30 to 
Chieros would go there as well. Like 30, 40 ish, maybe low 50s is what you're getting in this price range. But next up and step up, we're getting into designer realm. Designers, Dolce Gabbana, Prada, Dior. What is that? That was crazy. Was that a train? Might have been a train. The designer range is basically brands that sell clothing or jewelry or bags and then they also have a fragrance as a little side hustle you know what i'm saying now the most popular house is probably dior dolce gabbana um prada literally what i said i said the most popular ones and what we're starting off with here is dolce and gabbana the one edp for man now renowned as the best date night fragrance guys have i ever been on an actual date i don't know not in a damn long time way before i was using uh before i had really any of these fragrances so can i attest to that i don't know i mean i go on dates with myself does that count because i'm delusional and i like i talk to myself i guess that's what i'm doing right now actually what if i just make these videos for myself this is like some fight club shit, okay. Anyways, this I believe is kind of ambery. It is warm, it is. Dare I drop a seductive, the seductive bomb. Um, I think women, that rare species that I've never seen before, they, they tend to avoid me. I'm kidding, okay, whoa. I don't wanna get canceled. I love my female view, whoa, okay bro, I'm done. Many people in the fragrance community would say that women find this scent attractive because it is it is not like an overly projecting, but it is smooth. It is nice. You wear this on a date night. And I think the date night is more like, all right, you're going out to eat, right? And then you're walking and you're holding hands and you're eating ice cream. And then you get in the car and you drive home and you're, and you're chilling on the couch and they're a little bit closer. And when they're closer, they smell this and then they... about it if any of my um if any of my guys the boys if you've worn this on a date let me know i know there are some of you that are also into fragrance collecting i would love to hear from you let me know how this is let me know out of my collection what i should wear on a date on my first date because let's just say kind of dress to impress so i kind of went off on a tangent but the one this is around 50 ish I think I picked my bottle up for around like 58, 59, maybe it was a while ago. But um, also, by the way, I'll never forgive um, whoever sent this to me. I think, who was it? Who did I buy it from? Whoever I bought it from. Uh, I got a dented bottle. It is a tester, I believe. Yes, it's a tester. So I guess it got dinged up because it wasn't in like the proper box, but it's all right. You know what? Let me get a little spritz of this. That's nice. I think, like I said, ambery, warm. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily say spicy, but there might be some spices in there. It, it is nice, warm, and it, it is warm for close encounters. Just, if you go on a date, good for you. I'm not going to help you, actually, because in spite. Next up, you guys have seen it before. It is my number one glazing fragrance. It is Prada Luna Rosa Black. Now this, oh my god. You spray this on, a lot of the same things. Warm. S-bomb, seductive. You would seduce me, probably, if you if you have this on. Let me get my, let me get my uh, wrist a little. Yeah, you know, I have to every time. This, you're getting a nice blend of like spices and a little bit ambery. This is, you know, fall, winter, them, uh, them cold days, but not like snowy, but the cold days when you need to be, you need to smell nice and professional. As I said, I believe this was in my, in my, to smell like a boss video and God damn it. If my boss wore this, I am my own boss. Wait a second. If my boss wore this, I would respect them more. And 
if I'm my own boss, I must have some major respect for myself. That's crazy. That's insane. It is nice. Uh, funnily enough, I believe it was an ASMR video that came out over a year ago, probably by now. Um, I don't know the name of the channel, but it was a fella. He only made like three or four videos that I saw. And it was like a fall, winter fragrance video, which is what inspired my video that I made a while ago that I think I privated now because it was not good quality. Um, and he said, he described this fragrance as like a warm breakfast, like it was like bacon or something. Like you're waking up on like a cold day and this just smells like, like continental breakfast when it's like maybe it's snowing outside, but you're getting those cozy vibes. Vibes, why do I keep saying that? It was a great description. This is like fantastic. It is nice. Like I said, I'll never stop glazing this fragrance. It is still in my top 10. Yo, I gotta redo, I gotta make an updated video. I don't know if I ever made a top 10, like in all seasons. I know I made the 10 winter, fall, but for all seasons, it might be different. Fantastic, guys. Buy this. The only problem I have with this is that it, it doesn't last as long as I'd like. Like, I would like eight plus hours, but I think I'd probably get around six, six to eight, as opposed to the eight longer or more, which is a tragedy. Okay. We're like halfway through. Oh, yeah, by the way, that one is a little higher end. I think you can still pick it up for under a hundred bucks, but yeah. Anyways, the next kind of couple of groups are all blending in together. These ones you can get from 90 really 80 to $120. It depends where you're buying from and whether or not it's discontinued. This is what, what the uh, supply and demand is of the fragrance. So we're going to go at them all at a time. But I'll go ahead and introduce this section first as cheap niche. Cheap niche. Okay. And what this is are niche houses that make fragrances and they aren't like attaching a huge price tag like the 200 300 the fabled 400 dollars actually i got a demonstration look at this these fragrances you can usually pick up for a nice 100 crispy 100 dollar bill band for band could you go band for band with me probably actually i'm kind of poor by the way is this is an old hundred dollar bill because i have a i have a new one and it and it doesn't look like that so anyways you've got a hundred dollars and you want to buy yourself something not too expensive but not too cheap because you want to buy one nice fragrance and not a couple which by the way a lot to consider hundred dollars will get you a lot let's be real you can get like four cheaps or like four clone ish in the in that price range or you get two like cheaper designer ones so hundred dollars gets you a lot don't don't uh underestimate how far it'll get you the first fragrance it's from a house called mancera it's called instant crush all right i'm, I'm sure you've heard of this and truthfully i've only i've worn this a handful of times last fall last winter when i was working in the tire center because i wanted something that was a little bit stronger that because obviously the tire center is like half inside half outside you need something that projects and breaks through the cold which this absolutely did and um yeah honestly it's been a while since i wore this but it is like it is absolutely what you need to wear if it is like snowing and you want to be smelled wait okay that didn't that made more sense in my head it's like you want to be heard wait no you can still use that in this context you spray this you want to wear something but it's super cold out and you still want to be heard in a fragrant sense in a in a nostril in a smell i'm i'm, I'm yapping about nothing at this point but yeah to be honest i can't quite put my nose my i can't put my finger on on the scent like the notes but specifically this is what happens when you talk too much this is what happens when you're delusional the voices the voices are coming back but yeah honestly i maybe i shouldn't have put this in here because it's been a while since i wore it 
Should I pull it up? No, I'm not pulling it up actually. But since it's a crush, um, it'll cut through it. It is like. It's not like sweet, but it's like it's out there. Like it isn't like it isn't like dark, not dark. Like I'm out of words. No more. Instant crush. We'll have to revisit it sometime. Next up, we have Jazz Club, which this bottle I did pick up for around ninety-six bucks. Now this is fantastic. Again, Jazz Club describes it perfectly. You've got like a booze note or a liquor note in here. Um, you know accompanied by those warmer type scents for the fall and the winter. That was a bad spray. But yeah, I mean, off the top, is there tobacco in here? There may be, there may be tobacco in here as well, now that I think about it. But it is definitely like a warm, don't wear this in the summer, you could get away with it on colder spring days. it is really quite nice um for the inside days again does this really cut through the uh the winter cold outside probably not but if you're chilling at school inside you're doing some studying you're lounging you're at a cafe this is absolutely fan you're at a jazz club see what i did there absolutely fantastic and again yo my voice is going we're gonna have to get through these and of course we're at the expensive part I'm gonna have to leave one of these fragrances out. Or a couple. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Alright, in the similar vein, you have the upper echelon of the designer realm. Which, for example, YSL Tuxedo. Okay, well that is actually like a hella expensive designer. That's like 200 bucks. Um, so we'll actually go with what I have here. This one is around 100 bucks. You might be paying more or less depending on a lot of things. This is the Dior Homme Intense. This is Iris Powdery. Uh, I believe people made the comparison to lipstick, which sounds bad, but it's really not. It, I mean, it's that Iris smell, super strong, super nice. Um, I think a lot of people, or a decent chunk of people, will also put this in the date night category. Um, because Iris is like such a nice, you know, no, I guess it resides with the female audience. But um, honestly, again, no dates for me. When have I wore this? I've wore this just really in my house. Um, recently, I've been trying to kind of spray it, a lot of these on so I could get a, a, a general gauge of, of longevity and stuff. This is an eau de parfum concentration. And I did get around eight hours that I was actually paying attention to. And again, this you can really wear inside at cold times, fall, winter, going to school, stuff like that. Um, one of the things that sucks about riding a motorcycle, though, is that you can spray it. Uh, I don't like to spray it before I ride because I feel like it'll just all blow off me, if that makes sense. Um, so I usually wait till I get where I'm going when I'm outside and I spray it, give it like a minute to dry down, and then I'll go wherever I'm going. Um... Which, by the way, no shame in, like, spraying this shiz in public. Like, don't do it, like, when everyone's watching, but go to, like, a bathroom. Go to a stall. Or if you're just outside at a table, a bench, and no one's around, just, like, give it a couple sprays. Like, there's really no problem with that. So, yeah, I'm hoping to get more uh, wear out of this. But, again, 100, 195, I'd say, to 120 bucks is probably where you'll find this. Um, and in a similar vein only because you literally cannot find this on discounters this is blue de chanel um i talked about it before it is a blue fragrance it is classy 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 you're getting some like i want to say citrusy but it is like a very professional smooth it comes across super nice if it is i don't know if it's citrus or not but it is blue fragrance if you know you know if you don't know you don't know magnetic gap on this kind again no discounters sell this because I guess Chanel locks them down like they're they're on top of it. So this bottle cost me like over a hundred bucks for a one point seven ounce a hundred bucks for this, which is crazy. But you know what? I had to get it, and it smells delightful. It really does. This lasts pretty much the entirety of whatever I'm doing. Eight hours again. 
Oh, this is the Eau de Parfum. I really want to try the Parfum, but again, if I'm paying retail for that shit, we're going to have to wait until down the line. But absolutely fantastic. Okay. Now, finally, we get to the now it's time to flex. Weird flex, what? We're getting into the niche category where you can get with three of these, two of these, three of these, depending on where you shop, you can get yourself a nice smelling niche cologne. Now, when it comes to niche, there are houses that are more um, mass appealing. And I definitely think Perfume Smarly falls into that category simply because their fragrances are almost smell designer-ish, but with more refined ingredients. The most obvious example, a Mr. Parfum Smarly Layton, which, as I talked about in Detour Noir, Detour Noir, is a magnificent blend of spices, and um, that's the best way I can describe it. You are getting like rich spices, peppers, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the thing about this is, like I said, with a more trained nose, um, you can definitely tell the difference in quality of ingredients. Now, this is absolutely fantastic, and I got my bottle, I think, for less than 200 bucks, um, if I remember correctly. Um, and I'll just, like, shout it out right now as well. Layton, Herod, tobacco, um, tobacco-y, sweet, kind of, almost nice. It's a nice tobacco. It's warm. And then spices. That's what, if I had to, if I had to really chop it down to one thing, spices and tobacco, but in a designer way, in a, in a way that will appeal to most people, uh, compliment getters. Absolutely. Um, by the way, I actually got a compliment on Arrow's Flame today, which was nice. That's like the first compliment in a while. So happy to hear that. That's not even in this video, but anyways, you will, you will get these and you will like them. Layton is like a, a very good blind buy. Again, a whole rant about blind buys. This is a nice blind buy because really it's just, it's just a nice refined blend. Tobacco is harder to blind buy. I did because I'm a crazy person, but yeah. Now, going into the other, another category of niche, those bottles will run you, by the way, 190 to 300 bucks if you're getting like the exclusives or the more, I suppose, newer ones or rarer. Uh, hard to come by ones. Now you're getting in the niche house with these super unique scents. First example, Zershoff. This one right here, Golden Dala, Dala, whatever you would call it. Um, spoiler, spoiler alert. This is in the top ten right now of all time. I wore this to school on Wednesday. And let me tell you, it was the best that I've smelt myself ever, I think. Is it my favorite scent? Maybe. Now, truth be told, I don't remember exactly what the notes are in this, but it is like a, it is certainly fall, winter, but it is like this sweetness, like, I'm just trying to imagine, it is like such a nice, warm, warm, sweet, is that a thing? Like, it is like a refined, if you, if you opened up like a hundred dollar chocolate, not a chocolate bar, but like if you, if you open like a box of candy that cost a hundred bucks, this is what I imagine it would smell like because it's so like nice. It is so incredibly well blended. And for me personally, I didn't get the best longevity. I'm actually gonna look up the notes on this guy. Um. But it was absolutely fantastic. And I got this in like the little three set with um, Noxos and Alexandria too. Okay, here we go. This, okay, it is warm, spicy, ambery, woody, coffee. There it is. It's coffee. I fucking love coffee. I already told you the coffee note. Coffee break. Halloween Man X. I love coffee notes. Um, and yeah, so I won't read them all off. But you can kind of get it. Spices, exotic spices. Coffee, incense, Cambodian oud, and cacao, tonka beans, stuff like that. Absolutely fantastic. I wanted to say, okay, I don't want to say all of that, but I don't want to, like, provide misinformation. So I just looked it up. But yeah, this is, and yo, exotic spices, this smells like an exotic fragrance. It is, this will probably get you compliments. Um, I haven't been in 
close enough encounters for someone to probably smell it. But it is a rich, 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 warm, spicy fragrance. It is absolutely fantastic. And again, this has already cracked my top 10 scent DNAs of all time. But a full bottle of this will run you close, I think above 200. Honestly, I don't know if I'm like, I'm coping and I'm wishing that I could find one, like a full 3.4 milliliter for under 200 bucks, but I don't think it's possible. And when I do run out of this, bet your, bet your bottom dollar that you will be seeing that surge off box, which I am kind of excited to purchase because they have such a nice presentation, but you can bet you'll be seeing one of those. Honestly, very, very soon, because I'm going to be wearing this a lot. Last but not least, this was the original most expensive cologne in my collection, Elysium Roja. And if you know, you know, I, uh, I dropped it. So the atomizer got a little, like, crooked off of the, like, base. You can barely see it, but now this is... Okay, I can spray it back in. Now this is green, which is weird because in a blue, in a kind of like a blue gradient type um, bottle. But yeah, this is green, green blue. Maybe it is blue. You're getting a ton of freshness, bergamot, probably like lemon, lime, everything. Like you're getting, you're getting fresh balm right off the top. But it's nice. I described this, I think, once as the most refined like cut wet grass which is a weird way to describe it but it did, really does give that like it is super nice super kind of almost foresty like almost rainforest smelling but like on steroids it is insane i got good longevity projection uh this is oh my gosh is rosha uh an english a UK brand, because it says right here, uh, their thing is located in Brighton, which as you know, Brighton is one of my favorite Prem teams, yo, that's crazy, nice, it is nice, it is, like I said, rainforesty, I don't know if there's woods in here, there might be like some light woods, like white, light, light woodsy notes in this fragrance, but yeah, this is gonna run you. How much did I pay for it? I really don't want to say. I don't remember because I kind of block off when I spend more than like $200 on a fragrance, but it was not cheap. Was it worth it? Yes. Super unique scent. Um, this is Roja's kind of like golden child. Late in his parfums to Marley's golden child. And I would argue that Jazz Club is Replica's golden child. And Naxos, Serge Off, like they all have their main thing. And this is the main one for Rocha. And it is quite good. It is more than quite good. It is phenomenal. It is worth the price in most cases. Some people won't like it. They won't like how kind of earthy it is. But ladies and gentlemen, you made it 40 minutes almost into the video. I would like to pat you. I would like to uh, give yourselves a pat on the back. Or just like slap yourself in the face to wake up completely. That's it. That's all I have for you today. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. You don't need big bucks to smell like you have big bucks. If there's one fragrance on here that I had, that I had to say everyone should buy, it's Detour Noir and probably Prada Luna Rosa Black. And to be fair, you can get those both for less than like 150 bucks. Now, those are both fall, winter. If you want something for summer, you might be looking at a Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. Okay, you might be looking at Jean-Paul Cartier Le Beau. There are a lot of fragrances for a lot of different prices. My suggestion is to research, research, research. I hate this part of it, but I usually have three different discounters, and I'm cross-referencing prices, and if one only one has them in stock, if only one of the retailers has what I want in stock, it's an easy decision. If multiple, check prices. Check prices on multiple things because some of the Canadian discounters want you to reach
reach a certain point for free shipping in the U.S. But guys, enjoy your journey. You don't need 300 bucks. And remember, 300 bucks will get you Elysium or it'll get you a handful of absolutely solid and worth the money designer or cheap fragrances. So don't feel pressured to buy anything because I say, because of what I say or what anyone else says. Enjoy your fragrance journey. Like, comment, subscribe.